I'm 15 from St. Louis. Are you considering investing in energy and transportation companies such as ones that deal with fuel cell and environmentally friendly energy resources? And if you are, will you thus be replacing any other energy-based investments you may currently hold, such as your newly acquired holdings in mid-American energy? Now, I would say that energy and transportation in the very broad sense are both things that we've at least got a chance of understanding. So those are the kind of areas in which if we would we would be we would think about making investments. We would probably think about it less in connection with new technology. Uh, we, we might expect the people who run mid-American energy to be thinking about that all the time. But Charlie would be better at it than I am because he has a different background uh, and thinks better about that anyway. Uh, in terms of evaluating newer technologies, I wouldn't be very good at it at all. Uh, but those fields are, they're, in the, uh, they're big in terms of capital investment for one thing, so they're very big fields. And then secondly, um, we, we would probably think we were capable of evaluating the, the, the potential some years down the road of many companies in energy uh, and transportation. So that, those would be fields we would consider. And of course, as you mentioned, we made an investment in mid-American energy. Um, I doubt if the technology changes dramatically in, in any near term as to the product that they're delivering. But if there were changes on the horizon, I think we've got the management there that would be very good at, 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 at spotting that ahead of time and capitalizing on it the proper way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that function on myself. Charlie? Well, historically, we've done very little in either field. And mostly the past is a pretty good guide to the future. Historically, the, the transportation field, I mean, it's been a terrible place to have money. And uh, uh, whether it's been in airlines or, or in, uh, in the rails, it, it, we've mentioned value line from here from time to time. If, if, you, if you go to the, the rail transportation section and just run your eye across on the revenues and look at the capital investment, the, the, amount of, the amount of capital required to produce incremental revenues is just is, is horrible. And uh, on the other hand, there's not much alternative here in the game to doing that. So there, many railroads will spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and it will not move the top line uh, hardly at all. Uh, the ones where the top line has changed is where there's been acquisitions or mergers. Airlines, you see just the opposite, you see this great movement in the top line, but uh, but again, a disastrous amount of capital investment and very little in the way of returns. Uh, uh, so it hasn't been a great field. Uh, most fields that require heavy capital investment, uh, most of the time, they, they don't turn out very well over time. It, uh, there are plenty of exceptions to that. But uh, if you find a business that has to keep adding up huge sums of money every year, there will always will be a reason why they're doing it. But the net result after five or 10 or 20 years, usually isn't very good. Charlie, got anyone? No. Area four, 